Please note, while deciding the winner of the following battle, price, ease of use, and design were all considered. Many people do not realize that there are other ways to use Twitter on your iOS device than just the official Twitter app. So because of this, this video will compare and give you a definitive winner of what is the superior app. So if you are curious in what my opinion is on the best Twitter client for iOS, then stick around. For this video, we are going to be comparing four popular iOS Twitter clients. The official Twitter app, Tweetbot, Twitterific, and Echofun. And remember, I've used all of these for at least a few days so that I can make an educated opinion on them. Let's start with Echofun, probably the least popular of the four, but still popular enough to compare. Alright, so I'm going to just bluntly say this, it sucks. It feels as if it was put together in an, like, what feels like an afternoon. The two days that I used with it were simply, simply awful. I did have the free version, which adds ads to the timeline, but that was not the issue. So to think that someone would spend $5 on the pro version astonishes me. This app is a really, th this app really is a complete ripoff of Tweetbot. Even things like the profile page look like a direct copy of its Tweetbot counterpart. Use it, and I think you will understand. Here is where I believe it really starts to get competitive, but first, let me make this clear. I have spent way more time, and I mean way more time, with the official Twitter app and Tweetbot than I have Twitterific. Only two days I have used Twitterific, in fact. Now that I've said that, Twitterific is actually a pretty nice app once you get to know it. It is set up a little differently than its counterparts, but still actually pretty nice. At first, it was a little hard to get used to, but once you start to get used to it for a bit, it really is actually pretty nice. It still gets, it's still a pretty good app that gets what it needs to be done, done. Here is an app that I use daily, Tweetbot. Now this app is special, and I mean very special. If you ask Ninja Explosions and uh, Evil Ninjas 99 on Twitter what app they use Twitter on, they will tell you Tweetbot. Okay, maybe it is just me, but it feels like Tweetbot has pizzazz, something that the others do not have. The moment that I'm saying this, the app is currently $3 on the App Store. That is $2 cheaper than what its regular price is. You're probably wondering how I could justify a $5 purchase for an app that I can get for free, the official Twitter app. Well, first, it gives you more options than the official app, such as streaming tweets. By streaming tweets, it means that on Wi-Fi, the app is constantly refreshing. So when someone sends a tweet, it instantly adds it to your timeline. For me, this app works absolutely like a charm and fits my needs perfectly. Alright, so our last app will be the original Twitter app by, well, Twitter. I would say that in my opinion, it is better than both Twitterific and Echofon, which is a major plus, but this app is you this app just used to be yucky. The original reason that I went with Tweetbot was because before iOS 7, the official Twitter app just wasn't good. But since it was rehauled after iOS 7 was released, the app is light years ahead of what it used to be. I think the thing that this app has got going for it the most is that number one, it's free. And number two, it's designed by Twitter themselves so they can design the app and the Twitter service around the Twitter app. So now that you know what I think about all four, let's find the winner. As you can probably tell, Echofon is the first to go. There's something about it that I just really do not like. Next, we're going to get rid of Twitterific. Like I've said before, this app is not bad, just not as good as the other two remaining. So now we have two left, Tweetbot and the official app. Design. This has got to go to the official Twitter app. I mean, yes, I absolutely love Tweetbot's design, but the Twitter app just feels a little bit more polished, and I really think it shows on the profile page. I mean, there are a couple things that look better, but because, like I said earlier, since it's designed, tweet, Twitter can design its service around the app, and vice versa, it really, really is a fluid experience. Ease of use? Tie. Both are very easy to use. All you really need is a few minutes to go through the ups, and then BAM! That's all you really need to know, and BAM, you can work the app perfectly. Price. Twitter again. This is where I've got to hand it to Twitter. I mean, it's a free app, and they've done a fantastic job. Tweetbot is a very nice app. The only problem that I have with it is that it is $5. That is a lot of money for an app to just surf and tweet and go on Twitter. That I mean, $5 to literally just go on Twitter. Verdict. I want to say Tweetbot is a superior app. I bought Tweetbot for a reason, and that is because when I bought it, it was only $3. So this answer may surprise you if you know me. The official Twitter app wins. 
it's all because of the price. All right, this has been Nicholas from Renenko, and I will catch you in the next one.